Hey everybody, how is it going? It's the Crystal Flaffy, and welcome to the second episode of our Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Challenge Let's Play. Now, I know that I super cut you guys in at the end of the last episode. I didn't even realize it at the time, but looking back, I did, I did, because I ended the episode before we even got our first Pokemon. <laughs> but there was a reason for it. I wanted to keep the episode under under uh, 30 minutes. That's, that's why. <laughs> So there was a reason for it, I promise, but yeah, so we're going to get our first Pokemon in this episode as well as explore the town here. And I also am not recording this right after the last, epi last episode like I said I was going to. Um, I don't know, my, my day just didn't turn out like that, so just going to make sure that we talk to everybody in the town. Sorry, I, I like completely lost my train of thought. My phone vibrated and I was like, what? And then I, my sentence just disappeared. Um, well, yeah, my day yesterday just didn't turn out like that. Um, I don't remember what I ended up doing, but I ended up doing something else. So, so I couldn't do it. Um, and also, before starting up this episode, I did check out the mystery gift section. And that's why these guys are here, I guess. But we will deal with them later. We'll come back in the Pokemon Center once we deal with getting our Pokemon. Because I don't want to do anything in there and, like, make things weird or, I don't know, make something happen that's not supposed to. But, you know, we're going to talk to everybody, even if we don't pay attention to what they say. Just because they might give us stuff. They might give us stuff, and free stuff is always great. I know I keep opening the bag. I'm sorry. Um, also, I know, I know how there's, like, TV encounters in the game. How you, like, keep talking to the TV repeatedly and it just... A Pokemon comes out. Um, I don't know if it's always a Rotom. Um, because the, the LP that I watched of people doing it, it was randomized, so... Obviously, it was a different Pokemon every time, but I feel like because this isn't randomized, it would always be a Rotom. Because that makes sense. Oh, I thought she was saying that she's about to give me an Eevee, but no, no, she's not. She says the professor gives it to them. But, spoiler alert, there are other options for us in this game, which we will be getting one of those instead. I think we're supposed to go in this building first before we can go get our Pokemon. Because I think this is where Damien is. Um, yeah, there he is, okay. <sighs> I, I have finished cleaning up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Crystal. I met them outside. They offered to help, too. Um, I don't know if it's... I'm guessing it's the old man talking. Nice to meet you, Crystal. Well, Damien, I think we're pretty well finished. As long as you have your gift for the auger... Gift for the auger ready, I think you're done. You do have your gift, right? Oh, well, um... I may have forgotten. Of course you have. You better find one, and fast. I heard you could find a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Of course, you need a Pokemon to go safely. No, absolutely not. Not a chance. Damien is not ready to get a Pokemon. He is still a child. Yo, he's like 10. He's practically an adult, okay? Shit, get off his back, Mom. P please, Mom. Mom, please, everyone else in the town already got theirs, and they and have left. You're not going to follow them. You'll get yourself killed. Why do you care? Oh, wait, wait. Why do you care? It's not like you're my real mother or anything. Wait, yo, Damien is a, he's a pretty rude guy. Not, not pretty rude, just like, damn. Right in the feels, man. Anyway. I raised you since birth. If you're not capable of raising a plant, let alone a Pokemon, or I read that sentence, I butchered that sentence. Um, you're irresponsible, antisocial, and you can't even. That's enough of you, out of you two. You're embarrassing us. You said your name was Crystal. I'm sure you've handled a Pokemon before. Well, we'll lend you, we'll lend one to both you and Damien. Would you be willing to help him through the forest to, to the cave to help him find a gift for the? Yeah. Wonderful, I'm grateful. Uh, so it's settled then. Crystal will help Damien to get a gift for the auger, and if Damien shows responsibility, perhaps he can keep the Pokemon afterwards. Well, how does that sound? 
fine. She won't though. Crystal, let's go. Let's blow this pop little sand. This bitch is pissing me off. I'll meet you in the professor's lab to get an Eevee. She has a bunch of Eevees from her days at the trainer. The lab is just to the southeast corner of the town. I'll see you there. I really hope I don't mess this up like she said. Cause she's a bitch and I don't want to prove her right. Hey Crystal, thanks for agreeing to do this with me. It really means a lot. It's no problem Damien, I got you yo. You're right, that girl was a bitch and we gonna be leaving. I think she's just your evil stepmom. It wasn't that you were adopted, I, I think that that was your real dad right there and that was your wicked stepmom or evil stepmother. You got some wicked stepsisters too, ugly stepsisters. Damien is Cinderella. Uh, oh, okay, this guy gave us... See, this is why you talk to people. Because the guy outside the mart, he gave us... Po Wait, he gave us Pokeballs. I'm just realizing that now. What the fuck? Yo. So, even... Yo, our lock started before we even got our first Pokemon. How is that... How is that possible? How? Tell me how. Speaking of how, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon data mine thing just happened recently. Um, uh, it's been like a week, or a little over a week since by the time this video goes up, but there's some interesting things. Some interesting things. Um, I won't spoil it, cause, yeah. Like, I didn't look at the, the story spoilers that were data mined, I didn't do that, because no way. No, I, I want to go through the story, like, fresh as well, as well as everybody else, but I didn't mind looking at some of the competitive spoilers, like movesets and whatnot. So, I saw some things that, some stats for Pokemon and some new moves for some Pokemon, you know, you know. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so this, so this is the, the man in black, so. Listen, Professor. These Pokemon, they're freaks. No one, no other trainer would want them, and we ca can't keep them any longer. All I want for you is to, all I want is for you to take them. You already keep a bunch of EB as is. Surely these three won't be a bother. Um, what should the professor sound like? I thought that, because normally the professor is a man, so I'd give them the nerd voice that I meant to give Damien, but didn't end up giving him. But, like, I can't really give... I don't want to give her a man's voice. Because she's not a man. Like, maybe she's a manly professor, but she's still a woman. Let's see. So, the nerd voice goes something like this, right? Well, that's kind of like Amy, but it's like... More like... Hey, hey, hey. I don't know, I don't know. Hey, hey. Why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true. I'm merciless. I've done some awful things, but there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. I'm Hello. I'm Damien, and this is Crystal. We're here to get Pokemon so we can go into the forest safely. Yo, can't this kid read the mood? They were having a serious conversation and he interrupted and ruined it. Sylvan, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. <laughs> Very well. One, two, three. We know what those be. Um, <laughs> excuse me, please. Yo, Damien just like straight moonwalked out of his way. So, you two are in need of Pokemon. Yes, ma'am. I see. That man, that, that man that was in here just now, he was one of my colleagues in university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of the cult of perfection. Uh, uh, a, a cult leader? Those evil pe those people are evil, Professor. You shouldn't be talking to them, let alone be accepting gifts from them. Yo, go smack him. Just be like, bad Damien. Tell me, Damien. Crystal, have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? Yeah, I have. Uh, well, uh, I haven't. Then allow me to explain. 
Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomena in the Ho Holland region. Is that a thing in this game? Is that the name of this region? No, I think this this is the Toron region or Torin or some shit like that. Not a uh, Holland. Is that like another game region made by the same people? Cause I'm, this game is made by Sue's Rain, right? And so is um. I think Insert not. <laughs> And also, yeah, he's, it's, Suzerain made Insurgents as well as this Insurgents, you know? Um, I think it was Zeta and Omicron. I think those two as well. So is that like the region in those games? I don't know. Um, anyway, it's far away. they are Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. <laughs> Simply put, they're typed differently than normal. An example would be an Electric-type Dragonite or a Water-type Porygon. Okay, now I know an electric type Dragonite is actually a thing in this game, but I don't know if a water type Porygon is. But for those that don't know, Dra Delta Dragonite is a electric water, I think. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. These Pokemon on <clears throat> excuse me. These Pokemon on the table now are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but uh, they seem to be experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. They're scientific marvels. I would love to keep one to study. Now, normally, I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start off on your journey. However, it seems there are three three more options for you to choose from. So, I'll offer you this. You may choose one of the three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I normally give away. If you want an Eevee, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. So, we're definitely not going with an Eevee. Um, you, you guys already know, when it comes to the Kanto starters... I have an obligation, an obligation to uphold. So we'll get to the uh, to the obligation once Damien shuts his mouth up. Let's let's see what he has to say. Crystal, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of Pokemon made by a murderer, but uh, I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left all alone forever. You can pick. Hurry up. We don't know when the Augur is arriving. All right, let's go. You know, that was weird. When I took my first step, like the background didn't, like the, it didn't move with me. It's very weird. So we're gonna start from the left. Just take a quick look. So this is the dark and fighting type Pokemon, Delta Squirtle. No, that is not our choice. This is the ghost dragon type Pokemon, Delta Charmander, which is super, super cool. I know that got really loud. I got really loud, uh, really close to the microphone. I know. But Delta Charmander is super cool. But that's not what we're going with. Why is there two sprites? This is the Fairy and Psychic type Pokemon, Delta Bulbasaur. Is this your choice? Yes, it is. Yes, I am sure. We obtained the Bulbasaur. Would we like to name it? Yes, of course. Of course we would. It's a it's a male. Now you see, I don't really want to nickname it Belladonna, which is our typical Bulbasaur nickname. Because well, one, it's a male, not a female. And two, it's because it's not a grass poison type. And the reason that I started naming my Bulbasaur as Belladonna was because a Belladonna is a type of poisonous plant, I think. Um, which fit very well with it because of its typing and yeah, and it's a pretty name. But this is a male and it's a fairy psychic type. So... I can't think of one that goes with a psychic typing, but a male name that can go with fairies. I don't know if I want to do it though. I don't know if I like this name for it. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with that. We will go with Pan after Peter Pan because Peter Pan has all this shit with like fairies and stuff and he can fly and what? Well, Delta Pope sort of can't fly and fairy types in this game aren't known for flying, but is there fairy types that fly? There's Tog the Togekiss line, I know that. Hmm, I don't know, besides them, I don't know. That should be a thing. There should be more fairy flying types. Or fairy types with levitate. Things like that. Yeah, anyway, off track. Um, it also works well because Pan is the... Greek God of the Wild, which is like a grass type and stuff, and Bulbasaur is normally grass type, so, so it works, you know? Um, let's see. 
Crystal, I think you're right. I'm going to pick a Delta Pokemon just like you. Hey Crystal, before we go into the safe forest, how about a battle? It'll be a perfect time to test out our new Pokemon. Let's go. Alright. Yo, you didn't even give me time to turn and face you. I didn't make no eye contact with you. This is no tr proper trainer battle. That's how these things are supposed to work. They're supposed to, we're supposed to make eye contact. Yo, that sprite is pretty pretty. I like it. Like our sprite, not Damien's. Fuck Damien. No, Damien's sprite is decent as well. Well, like, it's a good... It's a well-made sprite, but... He doesn't look cool. He's not a cool-looking dude. Let's check out Pan real quick. Very psychic. Um, modest nature. What? Okay, this is like, this is fate. It has to be. It has to. Psycho calls its ability, which is a poison, no, a psychic type, uh, uh, overgrow sort of thing. Um, wow, it is a modest type with zero special attack IVs. I know it's got amazing, it's got perfect speed and special defense, and really good defense as well, but zero special attack. I guess it's made up for because it's a modest nature, but still, that's that fucking is, oh the god damn it. And then we have tackle, baby doll eyes, and confusion. Which baby doll eyes is priority growl. Um, we'll just confusion because our special attack is higher than our attack, and then tackle also wouldn't affect Charmander, Delta Charmander at all. And we're two levels above him. I just realized that. Well, you know why I think they did that? Because you can get Pokeballs before taking on this battle, which they did. So for this battle, they kept Nuzlockers in mind because if it's five on, if it's level five against level five, there's a good chance that you'll you you could lose. So, which would end your lock because you'd already have Pokeballs. So, yeah, I get it. I get it. Makes sense. Ugh, I lost. Got three hundred twenty dollars. Wow, you're a great trainer. You totally beat me. All right, Crystal. Here's the deal. I'm going to head to north. I'm going to head north into the shade forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave, and in the middle of that cave is the rare stone we're looking for. I'll meet you there, okay? Okay, buddy-o. Um, this text is supposed to be pink, but I know it's the professor. Crystal, can I talk to you for a moment? Damien rushed off before I could give him one, but I'd like you to have this. It's a Pokedex? This is the Pokedex, show for Pokemon Index. Yes! Not a fucking Pokemon encyclopedia, or else it'd be a Pokepedia. Thank you, Susan, for correcting the mistake that the Pokemon Company does every single game now. I don't think they said that in the... In red, like, Red Balloon Yellow. I don't think they said it's an encyclopedia, but they do it now for some reason, which is stupid. Um... It's to collect data, give them to all trainers, see Pokemon, register it, catch one, the Pokedex will be full of data regarding that Pokemon. I know I'm not doing the voice because this is basic stuff that we all know. Um, okay, now here's actual stuff. Head up to Talnor Cave, deep in the forest. Be careful and good luck. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Oops, did not mean to do that. Now, we can head to the Pokemon Center. Do we have running shoes? I don't remember. Auto run. Awesome. Alright, so we'll... Do I need to heal up? Oh, well, I... See, I'm not quite used to the controls, like the button layout for this game yet. For the... Yeah. So, I keep pressing enter thinking it's the... To open the menu. But X is to open the menu. Which is a bit weird for me, but... I'll get used to it eventually. There's Pan. Alright, so, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's, uh, let's talk to this one first. Is this your first time in a Pokemon, Pokemon Mall? Not every city has one, you see. Only big enough cities can afford the spacious glo glory of this mall. You're able to do things here, though, that you can't do in regular centers, such as reg restyle your hair. Okay. Also, you're a Pokemon called Crystal. So, I know what one gift is. I know one gift is a Munchlax. And I get, okay, that's the other gift, the Book of Leaves. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, it was a Delta Munchlax, not a regular Munchlax. Oh, was that its name? Gaia? 
Yo, I like that name for it. Oh, but it's a male. I don't like that name for it then. It's from Neens. It's a calm nature, which is bad for... Well, I don't know if it's bad for Delta Munchlax. I, I, assu I assume it's bad, because it does have a higher attack than special attack right now. Perfect IVs with Absorb and Rototiller. But what does Rototiller do? I know it, like, does something where, like, okay... Um, tilling the soil, the user makes it easier for plants to grow. This raises the attack and special attack. Of what? I... I don't know exactly how the... Oh, it has a ribbon, too. Can I see what the ribbon does? I guess not. Now, I don't know if we're gonna keep Gaia with us. Like, I'll keep her with him with us for now. Yeah, what are the chances? We name our starter Pan, and then we get Gaia. Two Greek deities. These are pretty good chances. Well, no, pretty low chances. Chances are, like, unexistent. Or non-existent. So. Okay, he's the name right here. I'm just try I just want to see what these people are doing. Oh, I could have talked to this guy, too. So, like, there's more than one mystery gift guy in here. And I know that's the, the, the PC right up there. Let's see if we can... Uh, the, the black tube thing. That's the... The PC. That's what it's called. Let's see what we got in the store. Got some Pokeballs. I do want to buy some of those. We already have five. No, I don't want to buy 15. I'll buy another 10. So that we end up with 15. Because I did want to get that Premier Ball. And we'll get some... Buy three potions. We have one Repel... I kind of want to buy another one, but I also... But we need antidotes, just in case. Because we did run into a Weedle on this route the last episode. And... We got all this other shit that I know we're not going to need. But I want to buy more repels, just in case. You know what, fuck it. No. We'll just go. We won't buy any more repels. We're good. We're good the way we are. So I'm going to keep Guy with us for now. I don't know if we're actually going to use him. I don't know. Not too interested in a Delta Snorlax. Um, oh, wait. Let's see what that Book of Leaves thing is. I think that should be in our key items, maybe. A book full of different kinds of leaves that allow Delta Snorlax to change appearance. Ooh. I guess it doesn't work because he's not a Snorlax. I don't know. No, I don't want to use the Repel because we are about to go in the grass and get an encounter. We got the Dex Nav, apparently. What the hell? <laughs> Is it just lying on the floor? Do I actually have to click it with my mouse? Oh, I do. Whoa. What does that do? So this is the, the town map. Shows where we are and some other things, you know. That's this one here. And this is... Oh, this is, uh... The connection. Oh, what should my... Uh, crystal... Flaff... Uh... Fee. Uh, password. I don't... Um... We'll just go... Uh... Uh... Okay, I'll keep this to myself, I guess. No, I don't want that. Um, okay, I, 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 come on. Okay, I think I did it right. I hope I did it right. But, or else next time I go to use it, I'm gonna have a hard time logging in. Now, I didn't mean to just, like, go log in like this. Because I honestly didn't... Oh, I gotta press the button. Pass what? How was the password? I did because I didn't register. I'll deal with that at another time. What's this last thing over here? Nothing, I guess. Okay. Oh, we, 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 we. okay. We can battle people. Okay, can I just close it? I don't want to battle anyone. I don't want to battle anybody. Stop! Stop! Yo, these people are going to be super strong. I'm scared. Okay. 
Can I just escape? No, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. All I had to do was say no. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's see what we can find in the wild here. If we actually find anything. Let's go right here. There, okay. Let's see what our first encounter for Route 1, I think it's Route 1. Nidoran, female. So, yeah, poison types. I'm happy I got that antidote. It's going to be easy to train a, a C poison point right away. The first thing that happens to us. Literally the first thing. So, I won't use the antidote in the battle, just in case we get poisoned again. We'll, we'll tackle one more time, and then I'll potion. And then after this potion, I'll throw a Pokeball. Because I, I want to be safe, because I'm not trying to lose our starter fucking first battle. No. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen, not gonna happen at all. Well, no, not first battle. It'd be our second battle. Our first battle is with Damien. Um, well, I'm not gonna lose our start in the same episode we got her. Got him. Okay, we'll throw this Pokeball real quick. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get you. Come on! Nidoran! Come on. Two, three. Yo. Girl. Why you why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this to me? Come on, let's see, let's see. Through Pokeball. Let's count it down. One, two, three. Gotta do that so that I can know how to sync up the video properly when I go to edit it. Uh yeah. I'm <laughs> Anyway, we caught the leader in, um, poison pin Pokemon, highly toxic barbs are thought to have developed as protection for this small body Pokemon. When enraged, it releases a horrible toxin from its horn. I already know what I want to nickname it. I, I like to nickname, uh, my Nidorans and Needle Queens, well, the female Nidorans, London. For no particular reason, I just feel like it suits them. I, I, I don't know, but yeah. Um, let's see what we got. It's Calm Nature and Poison Point. Terror Bad IVs, except HP. HP is good. Growl and Scratch. And I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center right now. Um, let's Potion up, or Antidote up. And... I do want to like train Pan and London here. I want to train them both. But I feel like it's going to be a bit difficult to train London right now because all the poison types here. So there's not much she can do against them. Well, to be fair, there's not much they can do against her either, but all she can do is tackle a scratch. Meanwhile, Pan can just confusion literally everything on this route. So I th it'll be easy to train Pan. Very easy to train Pan. We can literally just blitz through this area from what I've seen so far if we stick with just using Pan. But we're not going to do that. Um, well, actually, we might, and then I'll just, like, grind uh, Nidoran, London, and Gaia up off-screen. Grind them up off-screen. And, yeah. Because, you know, we already got our first encounter. So I can actually stop the episode here. We are at 30 minutes. Or just below 30 minutes, which is where I want to end anyway. So, you know what? Yeah, we're going to end the episode off here. I'm going to grind later. Or whatever. And we will continue with the next episode where we'll go through more story and whatnot. Let me just get out of this grass. Yeah, there's a lot of trainers here. There are. There really are. But, yeah, I'll grind up London Gaia. I think I'm going to grind them up to level... Um... I don't know. I'll just get them up to match Pan, I guess. 
because I don't want to, uh, I kind of want to be in the next area at level 10, since we started off at level 7, which is only 3 level difference. So I, I do want to get everybody to level 10. Or I'll get Panda level 10, and I'll get Guy in London to 8. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But anyways, we're going to end the episode off here. Make sure to leave the like button down below if you enjoyed, and comment below. Let me know if you're excited for the series, and let me know what starter you would have chosen. Would you have chosen the Eevee, or one of the Deltas? Um, for those that are like, yo, Eevee, fuck the Eevee, man, I'm choosing one of the Deltas. Just so you know, there's apparently some special thing in, like, Mega Eevee or whatever. I don't know exactly what it is or whatever, or what it does, but there's a special thing if you get the Eevee. So, yeah, it's not just, like, an ordinary Eevee. But anyway, we're going to wrap that up here. Subscribe if you want to stay updated for the next video. Don't know if I already said that. And have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you guys all next time.